Mia, your look right now is amazing. Let's start uh, with your headband. That's quite the fashion statement, but then uh, let's pan uh, down to your sock, your band-aids, and your socks. So it's Friday, August 12th. Yeah, I had a big reality check lately. Editing these vlogs have been great for me because you feel like you're under a microscope, but honestly, it's been a good microscope. I am starting to get a real reality check of what my body is actually like. I was finding myself getting a little too comfortable. So I was finding if I fit in my clothes, great. And I was kind of settling. Now, I've had a huge mental transformation with my body ever since I became a mom, especially ever after having the twins. I used to be so negative. I struggled with my weight since I was a kid. I would kind of bounce back and forth, but always be on the chubbier side. Finally, when I went off to college, I went dieted hard, exercised hard, and lost a lot of weight. And then I mostly kept that weight off until I had kids, and then I would gain the weight I would during pregnancy and then lose it each time I had Holden and Bo. The thing is, during all of those times of weight loss, my weight loss came from a really negative place. Like, I would tell myself, how dare you gain the weight, or you have to, like it was just this horrible negative headspace. And I thought that that was how I would lose weight. So when I had my twins, and I, and I had to completely give my body up for them, like I'm talking like major stretching, major growth, everything like that. I would tell myself, okay, you're a vessel. You're a vessel, you're an incubator for these babies. And that was the only thing that was important. And I grew and I grew and I grew. And I gained probably at least 60 pounds, probably more than that. And, um, and then I slowly started to work to get the weight off. But the thing is, after my twins, I found myself approaching weight loss in such a different way. I'm constantly, and I still do to this day, thank my body for what it did and what it created. And I'm very much in tune with the fact that it will probably not be what it was before. Um, but I lost a lot of strength during that time. And um, just things moved into different places, as you can imagine they would. But I always took my weight loss journey now as this place of thankfulness and treating my body with kindness and saying, you deserve to get stronger. You deserve to lose the weight and things like that. I was doing these toning exercises for the past couple years and they were really working for me. But since I've turned 33, I've seen a huge difference. I have suddenly seen things sag and kind of like settle in areas. I'm gonna just kind of show you just because I, you know me, I like to be super real, and let's get real. So, here we go. Here's kind of my before. Here's my stomach. You see? Here's my bum. It's It used to kind of like be a bit higher there, and now it's just kind of, see that? And see this? And I am realizing that that little tiny bit of exercise a day isn't enough, and um, I don't feel physically great. I don't. I don't feel peppy. I don't feel, I just don't feel good. And I want to feel good. So, last night I was like, I'm gonna set my alarm clock for 10 to six, and I'm gonna get up bright and early, and I'm gonna go on the treadmill, and I'm gonna work out and hit it hard. Well, guess what? <sighs> that was a huge fail, and I'll tell you why. Here's my bedroom. We're pretty lucky. We've got our bedroom here, with our half-made bed, and then if you walk over this way, there's our workout room. Pretty awesome, right? Our house could have had another bedroom, but this was um, what the previous owners did, and I love it. I love working at home. But here's the thing. When I got up this morning, that was there. This was pushed up. There was no way I was able to work out and do what I wanted to do. And I realized I have zero plan. This room is just becoming filled with clutter. How am I supposed to be inspired in this room? So today, my mission is to make a plan for exercise. Oh, and P.S. I thought I needed to learn how to do boxer braids for this one. This is my first attempt. It's a little messy, but I'm pumped that I was able to figure out how to do something new with my hair. So I figured out Dutch braids today and boxer braids. Okay, first stop, I'm gonna go into Winners. I am going to see if they have anything. I don't even know what I'm looking for. 
maybe some artwork for the room. I feel like I like to be in rooms more that are put together well and it's just like pretty rooms. That's just the interior designer in me. So I think that could help. Full disclosure, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> so I'm gonna fake it till I make it. Okay, this little shop's turning into a big haul. I did get resistance bands. It's only $12. Also, I got one of these like slimmer belt things uh, to wear around my waist. It was only $8. I don't even know what it does. I feel like it might help suck in my tummy from after the baby. So I'm winging it here, but let's just keep going. I'm not really finding what I was looking for in here, but look at this. They didn't have this when I was pregnant with my twins. A whole section for multiples. I didn't know about this book. I had this one. Oh, that's amazing. I did not have these options. Great. I am pretty sure I can find what I need on YouTube or online. So I probably should spend the money on a book anyways. But all is not lost. They had these water bottles that um, you can add your fruit to. I have a ton of mint growing in our backyard and I have not known what to do with it. Cucumber and mint, yum. I'm home now. I just got caught in a downpour when I was getting me in Everly, so I had to change. So I am excited to try this water idea. I'm gonna go cut a bunch of mint right now. I ended up putting mint and lime in it. I'm hoping it tastes like a mojito. Okay, here's the before. Boxes, just crap laying everywhere. Okay, here's the progress so far, but I can hear me and Everly up from their nap. So, I'm gonna go get them. I'm about to take my parents out for dinner. It's both of their birthdays tomorrow. They have the same birthday. Um, and I'm trying to get everyone ready for bed for Mike, but Mia just will not let me. She's got a poopy diaper and she doesn't want to be changed. She insists on zipping up her own pajamas, so that's what's happening here. And of course, she has to wear the... Is it not working? Look at, they've made this little vet. Can you show me your vet? Can you show me your veterinary clinic, please? You guys are not allowed to be... You guys are not allowed to mess this up because I made this for this for dad. I love this. If I was a little girl, I would play with this all the time. Is this how? Is this what you're doing since we can't go outside because it's so hot? Yeah. Everyone's being crazy. I haven't even... I haven't even had time to work out or finish my whole workout project today because we've, we've had one of those days. It's been very hot and rainy and we are just surviving and shelfing a whole bunch of things. So I'm just doing the dishes right now. Mike and Holden are watching the Olympics and the girls are being crazy. no makeup on I've been cleaning in my pajamas today uh, Mike's off at church with the kids today I was gonna go but we're having a big group of friends over today so I was like you know what I need to clean yesterday was a bit of a write-off with that rain okay so it's Monday and woohoo I have to do my hair still wet and I have no makeup on there's flies everywhere I love having outdoor potlucks but the next day I'm killing flies all day because there's so many that come in check out these flowers I did I need to do fresh flowers again this was for our friends coming over love it I don't know why I stopped getting fresh flowers for our house these look so pretty here I had such a busy weekend and I did not have a second to continue my whole workout thing. I didn't work out, confession, did not work out. So I'm gonna have to continue this whole workout journey and I will for sure keep you guys updated. But um, I've been really healthy, so that's points for me. I've been trying to not snack on the kids' junk and stick to my food, so that's good. Workout, no, have not done it yet. I will, I plan to, and I'll keep you updated. All right, bye guys. This is the cutest, and you're enjoying the Olympics. Oh my goodness, maybe we'll survive. Oh, we started and then we have to relax. Oh, we don't push and on the stairs. 
No, thank you.